Hello everybody, welcome to a new Bro Force video. Sorry I haven't been uploading videos in a while. And today I'm going to be showing you how to basically I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial for the level editor. And first off, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to set your campaign files. Basically, you wanna name your map. I'm gonna name mine test. You want to set the author, my HKK, and then description. Basically, it's a short description of the map that you will see on the workshop when you post it. Then there's the game mode. Basically, there's campaign, deathmatch, close and run race, suicide horde. I want to stick with campaign because it's basically the easiest. Then there's brutality score. Basically, what it is is at the end of the level, how much. Basically, at the end of the level, it'll say how much. Uh, it'll say like what time you have and what brutality score. It's automatically set off the no brutality score on regular, so I'm gonna keep it like that. There's new, there's levels you can add into a campaign file, which basically means you can add certain like different levels for one for one campaign. I'm gonna just stick with this one, and uh, I'll name it uh, test one. And then you can add new level, and it'll add a new whole another world you can up, you can like edit. There's meta, which is on the top of your tab, and basically meta is one of the more important ones because it has all the anesthetics of your level. There's themes, and there's jungle, city, burning for burning jungle, and then forest. I'm gonna put it on forest, and this will affect the type of grass you have, the type of dirt, stone, and all natural materials like trees and all that stuff. Spawn mode, it can be either auto like you automatically spawn, or it can be the truck like right there, or it can be the helicopter. You can do suppress announcer, and this, this I would think you would rather not do just normally but then the camera follow mode, I actually don't, haven't like experimented with that, so I'm pretty sure you want to just keep it on normal. Level title, you can set that also in campaign. And then, and it show you probabilities, and basically there's regular MOOC probability, suicide MOOC probability, riot shields, and all the other normal MOOCs that you would see. Oil barrel. Acid barrels, minefields, spike traps, coconut probability, and explosive alien earth. Basically, that you can all, you can either set it to this or you can just do it all yourself or you can place down the actual blocks. And then there's four specific bros, which will basically mean you have to play as that guy. And then there's music types, initial weather. I'm going to change it to... And this is like no change where it's just this. And I'm going to. So once you set it to forest, it won't change automatically. It'll take some time. And I think you have to play it first. Yeah, and then you hit Shift F3 to go back into editing mode. And. Why didn't it change? I, I think that actually is the forest guy. So now let's move on to the tops here. There's terrain. Or no. We'll, we'll do triggers later. So there's terrain, which basically is all the non-movable, or not non-movable, it's basically the ground blocks for your map. So, I can do like earth, and then put it all down here, cover it all up, and I've made like some steps. Pretty cool. Bunker, basically big, you make big stone buildings, and uh, big big stone buildings and basically another thing I want to show you guys is that um, uh, you can if you're wondering why it hasn't like set the background when you make an automatic building it will you have to select background bunker and then put it all in here then you will have the bunker background and so yeah you have to do it when you put doors down too. So yeah, there's a bunch of different stuff. I'm not going to go over all of it, but there's propane barrels in there, and then there's ladders and pipes. 
And pipes, basically, it's that explosive pipe we all know and hate. Then, you can put bridges and all the stuff. All the alien blocks are in here. And this one, I'm pretty sure, is like the travel thing. And then there's alien flesh, which is the bouncy thing. And all the alien stuff's in there, and, and the backgrounds. So now that I've covered that, um, oh yeah, falling block basically, that's the big stone block, and then I'm pretty sure hut scaffolding is basically just like that, and it stays there apparently. So doodads, basically what doodads are, and once you go into here, I suggest that you turn this off, it'll be a lot easier. So doodads, basically what they are, they're, the all, they're all the interactive blocks in the game. So you got your doors. And some of these don't work yet, I'm pretty sure, like clouds, and then there's like pure evil, and then up here, basically if you set it to R, it'll do random ones as soon as you put the cursor down, but you can set it to specific ones like the general, or the expendable, expend bros guy, and you can set it to specific ones. Then there's quick trigger aliens, which I'm not going to move on to yet. Spawn point, basically what this is, is this, don't, don't get mixed up about this, because this is actually not the thing where you get your light. The thing where the, where the, um, where you get your, like, um, let me try to say the, where you actually get, like, the bros are being held is the cage. I got, uh, I got, um, I still on that. Then, there's like vehicles you can put down in vehicles it's like setting all different ones and yeah there's drills and then these types of trucks have the mortar inside and then these types of trucks are troops and then there's like I don't actually know what that is oh oh no oh no oh no oh no oh no Okay, so basically there's also like villager captured and the thing with the villagers is that five and six you cannot you cannot help you in battle because like I, don't, I think they're way past only five six is there any more no all the other villagers oh god all the other villagers you can like you can do the, like the little melee thing where the AK is and then just bring them into battle with you then there's regular villagers which like walk around. And then there's like villagers with long hair. Pretty cool. Wall of guns. It's the thing we all know and hate. Oh, that's cool. Basically what it is, it's the thing that comes out of the ground and like shoots your butt off. And uh, you can do all sorts of errands of that. Pretty cool. Um, there's vertical checkpoints, which I'm pretty sure are just these like tower checkpoints. Tutorial objects, basically what they are. There's these huge signs. And, uh, yeah. Pretty cool. It's just a bunch of, like, arrows and stuff. Trees, basically what the trees do. This is, like, super important when you're making, like, a good map. Or, no, not tree. It's, a uh, tree background. So these are all the things you put in the background. It'll have tree bush foreground, which is basically the grass all the guys hide in tree foliage background basically this is big chunks of land you can put in the background and yeah so and then there's like traps and stuff Mo there's mines saw blades and then basically not to get confused I was super confused on this basically the difference between this saw blade and this one is that they're spinning in different directions like pure evil decor okay this is like some of your things that you put at the end of the level like we all remember this right and then we all we all know we all know this and another thing I want to show you are the mooks basically this explains everything that the game hasn't had in the main campaign so basically zero is like your regular mook and some of them are duplicates of the regular mook and just pointing different directions then there's one is your suicide two ride shield three heavy Four is lookout, five is dog, six is robot, seven is your soldier, eight is your rocket man, 
9 is another regular move. 10, basically what 10 does, I'll, I'll show you guys that later. And then there's this thing, I don't actually know what this thing is or what it's capable of doing. So I'm going to put that right there. Then there's Mook Door, basically the Mook Door is basically what the... Mook doors, basically what they are, is they're, they're those, like, doors that the mooks just keep coming out of, no matter what. It's pretty terrifying. And there's diff- This is another thing that's affected by what theme you choose, like, city, and I'm pretty sure on jungle it's like that, like, hole in the wall, but on, on uh, forest, it's the actual door. It's just the door. And, yeah, mooks will come out of there. Then there's mini boss, basically what mini boss is, it's like a, it's all the guys like G6, and then there's like the big helicopter, then there's that thing that I really hate, G67 helicopter, and then there's this big stealth tank. And another thing is like fences, experimental terrain bro boss, we all know this thing, this thing was horrible. Spend bros boss. Basically, if you haven't, haven't uh, actually like played the Expend Bros, this is one of the bosses from it. And yeah, I like moves. You have to put rails down, I think, for it to move. Hanging doodads. Basically, what there are, there's, it's just one. It's the bee's nest. Elevator, there's two. It's a big drill thing. Crate is your average crates. And I think that's all. Oh, then there's alien turrets. Which I actually didn't know we're in, but okay. Alarms and one, and then there's animals too that you can get ammo crates and all that stuff. <coughs> Sorry. Um. So basically, one thing I wanted to show you guys that I was like really messed up about is doodad, doodad properties and triggers. So basically, what doodad properties is is basically you can edit the things that you can edit things that will display either text or I think the only one I know of is the signpost basically you click on doodad properties when you put this thing down click on it and then you can like enter text say hello and then shift enter for like a new line and then hi so yeah that's what that does you walk over and it says hello hi Pretty simple. And um and the triggers. Now the triggers. Basically when you put the switch down, it'll vary on its theme and it'll automatically hop up in the entity triggers. When you click on it, it'll give you this big menu. So it'll show you the location and it'll show you its name. Basically you can choose what type of trigger like you want. So I'm gonna choose an area trigger, or no, no, it's an entity trigger because it's a block, if you interact with a block. And then you can add all these new actions, which basically give you complete control over the re uh, level, oops, and you can do like new bombardment, and I'm going to choose like collapse, basically it collapses, I'm actually not sure, explosion, makes blocks explode, burn, makes things burn, Spawn mooks. This is where like parachute things come from. Those annoying parachutes. And then there's like add new level event where it displays text and stuff. New ver new weather character command. So I'm gonna choose bombardment. And it's gonna be you can like set all the things for it. Set targets and it's gonna be right on this. So yeah, that's triggers. You can like. You can like have multiple triggers, and it gives you complete control over your level. And basically, when you go about how to save it, well, there's a help guide, and and basically what the help guide does it explains basically the um, help guide. It's more in depth, and it's a text version of like everything I taught you. I'm pretty sure. So. I'm gonna quickly reload it and should reload right now yep okay so it's all up to date and I'm going to test it out to show you guys all the news all the stuff and yeah 
So basically what this guy does, he has a jetpack. Watch, watch what he does. And then when you do it, it'll zoom and then it'll explode. I'm pretty sure that's an alien, but why is it in the mook category? I don't know. But then you see here, and all the moots start coming out. Pretty cool. And you can set like width and depth of your map. I don't need to show you guys how to do it, you know how. Smart. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is terrible. Okay. Oh no, I died. Okay, so basically, I need to show you guys again. The, so yeah, that guy will zoom forward and kill him. This thing, I have no idea what the heck this thing is. I'm gonna call it an evolved dog. Can I kind of get under it? Oh, jeez! So yeah, the alien turret basically shoots these flying aliens and they explode. Basically, so I'm gonna hit the button, and it shoots a missile, and bombards the alien turret. And then it says, hello, hi. And yeah, you can like the show the alien turret after. You killed me one time for you now. Alright, this is actually taking a long time. There we go. Okay, so yeah guys, I think that's all I have to show you in this Oh yeah, the switches, basically what the switches do, they deactivate after you shoot, after you activate them. Be aware of that, and I think there's something where you can set it so you can click it multiple times. But yeah guys, I think that's all I am going, all I have to show you today. Hope this was a very informational video, and um... Sorry I haven't been posting videos in a while, I've been really busy because I've been at my like, friend's house visiting and school starts in like two weeks, so yeah, and um, I don't know, I think I might just upload another video today, except the internet's really slow here, so, it might not be today, it might be tomorrow, I don't know. But yeah guys, I hope this is informational, like I said before, and, um, and comment if, like, what you want me, if you have any questions, and, yeah, so, I think I'm gonna make my own bro for a snap. Okay, cool. So yeah guys, hope this was informational and all, and I will see you guys all later.